Hey folks, evening. This is Cracker321 Boom. Welcome to the channel. Um, as I said yesterday in my last video, I never know what I'm going to react to. Um, I was going to react to something completely different this evening, and um, then this came up on FDNY EMS Lieutenant. Her name is Allison Russo on the job for 25 years uh, was brutally killed um, by a guy who pretty much looks like an everyday Joe um, not sure why this happened um, she was stabbed and killed I always knew that EMS workers had a tough job and I knew it was tough, but I always thought it would be tough in terms of what they encountered trying to save lives. I never thought they would have to literally be watching out that their own life would be taken. And um, it's a shame. So without further ado, uh, let's check out this clip from CBS News and go from there. Hit Play. Thank you, Tim. CBS 2's Alicia Reed continues our team coverage now live from Mount Sinai, Queens. Alicia. Mm, Mount Sinai. It's a good hospital. Christine, what started as a normal day at work today ended in tragedy. We're learning the victim's name it was Allison Russo. She was a 25-year veteran at EMS, and we're hearing that she was cited multiple times with honors over her 25-year career here in New York City, even responding during 9-11. And today, EMS workers from across the city are gathering here at Mount Sinai in Queens to honor this fall and hero the mayor I right now is holding up why, press conferences they remember would you this woman who they say exemplifies EMS what worker. ems stands for here in new york city and this all happened around two o'clock in the afternoon she was half a block away from where this gentleman this was initially bizarre. and they're saying inside right now that he brandished a knife and just started stabbing Allison Russo and eventually she was taken here to Mount Sinai but they could not save her. The FDNY right now praising the hospital years. and the work that they did to try and save her but unfortunately it did not happen. So that means um, we she's are also been hearing the job this was a was deadly senseless job. attack that Since you know should not have happened. There was someone who was who saw the suspect and chased him when he barricaded himself. Let's take a listen to what they're saying. We lost one of our heroes. She provided a service in the city for over 24 years. Her assailant has been apprehended and will be held accountable for his actions. While outside her station, she was stabbed multiple times in a barbaric and completely unprovoked attack. Members of EMS serve only to help and save other people's lives. That's what I don't understand. To be attacked and killed in the course of helping others That's just is both so heartbreaking weird. and enraging <laughs> for our department in ways I cannot describe. Bizarre. And this Bob, is back out here live, EMS workers from across the city continue to gather here at Mount Sinai to honor that fallen hero. We will have more coming up for you in our That's evening newscast. Live from Astoria, Queens, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. Alicia, thank you. Wow. 25 years on the job, rubbed out like that. Here's the thing. That gets me. EMTs are for a lot of people their lifeline. And um, I've dealt with EMTs a few times, especially with um, my mom that was sick on and on, on and off, excuse me, over the years. And um, I don't know. I mean, I hate to sound repetitive, but, and I've said this in other reaction videos, I'm dumbfounded. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. What is it going to be next, firefighters? 
what I mean. I mean, it's like, why would you tag an emergency medical technician? They just, they help save lives. Wow. Yeah, my condolences um, to her family. That's all I can really say. I mean, a part of me is surprised, folks. But then with the way the world has been changing, part of me is not surprised at all. I mean... It's sad. And in broad daylight, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for stopping by. If you're a subscriber, um, hit the bell icon, which would be somewhere over here on the bottom under the screen, and select all so you know when new videos like this one is uploaded. If you're new to the channel, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, um, even subscribe if you want. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and thanks to everyone again who has subscribed and who has remained with the channel. I really appreciate it and the steady flow of new subscribers have, in my opinion, have has been great. It really has. I appreciate it so very much. Um, you can follow me on social media. On Instagram, it's Ron42513. Um, on Twitter, it's Crow with an E11700. On uh, Facebook, it's Way2712. And on TikTok, it's under Cracker321. Boom. Uh, one word. <laughs> so, um,. I also like to say on a lighter note, if you folks ever hear like any background noise and I try to remove some of it, I recently moved, I moved about a month ago, and um, I'm actually in the front. So I'm only one flight up. So I basically have a lot of commercial traffic, buses, and um, you can hear the subway even though it's underground so i just figure i let everyone know that um have a great night tomorrow is friday thank you thank you thank you <laughs> and i know i'm not the only one who feels that way um have a great weekend and um, you'll definitely see me again folks i'll definitely try to upload something again tomorrow god bless and remain safe out there it's not getting any easier. Peace.